Right. Call the meeting to order. Okay. <coughs> Welcome to the Waitley Special School Committee meeting to go over the latest draft of the budget, as Darius was just saying, for the first for us to approve for the finance committee to go over the finance committee tonight and then to bring to public hearing for public comment next next Monday at eight o'clock. In the morning. <laughs> AM. Okay. So with that I'm gonna hand it over to you guys. Are we sure because I have eight fifteen in mind? You know what? We'll probably start at eight fifteen. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come at eight, and we'll start at eight fifteen. Awesome. There we go. Eight, two, <laughs> yes, Muffin, then we'll we can we can start the party well to two women. So tell me eight. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be here. Yeah, Maureen won't be here. Be All next week. Next week. You both have to make sure you make it. Got yes. it. Got it. Okay. So I'm not sure who's going to walk us through. Sure. Judy's going to walk us through. What, um, got what I've done is prepared two versions of the budget. Um, and as we talked about um, at the last meeting, when I dealt into school choice, um, I had some concerns about um, trying to make sure that school choice was in a healthy place for you moving forward. And as we talked about, you know, back in back in the day, you know, you always sort of spent a year back, and you didn't dip into the current year. Most school districts are now dipping into current years, and you're at that point where you've almost reached that precipice of, you know, falling off what's known, I guess, as the funding cliff per se. So um, after our last meeting, I went through school choice, took a look at things that are being expended, tried to offload some things so that we can, you know, have a comfortable balance moving forward. And also in this <coughs> particular um, budget to make sure that some things were back in the local budget that would allow you to at least have some sort of working balance. So what I've come up with um, for school choice, and uh, that's on, what? I should know this pretty well on page five of this um, handout um, is looking at moving forward to um, through next year and at the end of next fiscal year so that you have like a $38,000 balance, give or take, um, in school choice. Um, it could be a little healthier than that depending on how things go this year. This year. Um, but, I, I, you know, again, I've tried to um, take a look at uh, you know things that are going on so I just want to make sure that we're in a healthy place with um, with school choice so that's um, and just I'm going to define that just for the camera sure. just because people I know will probably care most about the budget is that when we talk about self healthy school choice is that we are spending in the current year school choice money that we're receiving this year and if we spend <coughs> if we spend all of it any difference, any student moving coming in or coming out could put us in a deficit. Right. And, and according, and we also ran it by, you know, our um, school auditor as well, yep. that we want to keep about, we want to be close to $50,000 um, in the black, in school choice at the end of each year, because there, any of those shiftings and any sped costs with shiftings or that kind of thing um, puts it, the school in a dangerous spot. So mm -hmm. if you were suddenly, if we were playing close to the fence, and the way this the budget's kind of, and we'll talk more about how this budget's unfolding now, mm -hmm. and a student was to leave, then you are immediately making cuts in September. And that's not how you can build a healthy budget. And so that's kind of what we're talking about there. I just try to bring a little bit more. Sure. No, 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 thank uh, you. I hope that mm -hmm. brings clarity to anybody. Yeah, who yeah the rainy watching. day fund, we always, we were always thinking of 50,000. <coughs> right. It's not even a rainy day fund, because no. a rainy day fund means the boiler blows up and you can use the money on that. I mean, I guess you could late in the year, but, right. You can, you, because of student movement, you right. have to be very, right. you have to have that balance there. It's, it's kind of a new, it's almost a new accounting game for school choice schools that are small like mm -hmm. like Waitley's mm -hmm. and others ones in our mm -hmm. greater district that have to make sure that there's just enough there to allow fluctuation in student movement. Right, right. And, and you always get a school choice number on your cherry sheet, um, you know, based on current, the current landscape, but there's always an adjustment in mid-year of mm -hmm. the fiscal year you're in depending on what the numbers are and um, again that adjustment for Waitley was a downturn this year so again yeah. looking 
five school choice kids who just happened to move to another community. Yeah, yeah but yeah. and we also lost some special education money as Increments. part of that. That's yeah. why it was so dramatic. This yeah. Year. Right. So again, those those are all of the moving parts. So right. to really count on going right up against school choice, uh, as Daria said, is uh, a dangerous game to play because two kids out and you're in a different place. Thank, so. you, thank you for indulging on that. It's, it's really, it's <laughs> no, no, no. Sure we were just no, very no. clear I about it. As, it's, it's confusing. The it's other confusing. point for Wheatley is that we don't have the equivalent of a free cash fund for the school. The town has one. If we needed to go to that, we would, could potentially do that. But we don't want to. But the, the Frontier does have the equivalent of that to help be a little bit yep. of a yep. cushion fund. Program. It's called a free cash fund, so it's like an extra savings account. Sounds wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, because the town is our backup. Because really Frontier good. acts as its own town. Okay. It's the best way to look at Frontier. So any excess and deficiency they have, we don't call it free cash, they call it E&D. Yeah. They have, you know, so they, they're able to carry over each year right. you know, $100,000 or more of a much larger budget. Um, that can handle some of those offsets. Right. right. <coughs> and school choice is a fund you can access more immediately. If you had to go to the town for free cash, that has to be a vote That's on the town floor and yes. all of that. This is, so, you know, it's, a, it's a different kind of uh, thing. So the first version of the budget, uh, when I came through all of the changes and took a look at what was going on, we came up with a net change overall of an increase of 6.79%. Um, and uh, this is on page two. Um, so you can see in the summary of changes a 6.79%. Um, Chrissy had requested uh, an extra special education instruction assistant, and so at uh, Darius's request, I just also factored what that would look like without that um, instructional assistant put in there. So that leaves you with again an increase of 5.56 percent mm -hmm. which is tough for a town the size of Waitley to swallow mm -hmm. so um, I then you know spoke with with Darius and, and Chrissy and just said you know what what could we do to present a second version of the budget that would potentially <coughs> have you in a healthier place and do least harm programmatically to children so um, after some discussions, that's where version two comes up. Mm -hmm. And version two, um, basically we, you have right now a full-time um, guidance school psychologist person. You know, I took a look at things, you know, uh, with, you know, sort of that lens of knowing what the money is and also knowing, you know, educationally, what can we do? Um, and, you know, asked the question, could you live with a 0.5 FTE in that position versus a 1.0. So mm -hmm. version two plays that out mm -hmm. um, with the reduction of the school's psychologist guidance position from a full-time position to a half-time position. Doing that um, brings down the net change to 3.9%. And if we did not add that special education instructional assistant, it would bring you down to 2.68% which I'm guessing in a town the size of Waitley is probably a much easier mm -hmm. um, number to move forward with. So that's sort of the long and the short of this. So that pos position was originally two separate people who had part-time positions um, retired and they merged it into one position. It was a school psychologist and a school counselor. Mm -hmm. So we don't need, we don't need that. I, I don't know if there's requirements. <coughs> well, there aren't requirements. There's no requirements. Per se? Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, looking at it, I mean, you know, Chrissy's not, Ms. Kurt is not delighted to do any kind of reductions. Um, but I was actually asking for more money. <laughs> she was asking for more money. Let's remember that and that's what her job is to do. But, mm -hmm. you know, looking at the services, you know, on a school this size, um, you know, you know, having a discussion, we feel that we can do it in a different, in a different manner, different fashion. Um, you know, you know, the, the psychologist portion, the amount of testing that was done, the number of cases that are being done, 
doesn't warrant a full-time psychologist. Um, and also, you can also do outsourcing on that kind of stuff if you were to get over, uh, if there's to be a sudden increase. Um, and then, you know, the guidance level things can be done in a different, in a different way in a school this size. So that's, um, that's the, that's the thought behind that. You know, it doesn't change any of the programming for students, which is the number one concern in a school this size. Um, there isn't a lot of wiggle room in our budget, but the idea is that if we're able to make this correction moving forward, um, you know, we'll have a healthier balance at the end of next year as well, and, hope, and be in a kind of where we can build up the school choice as our own small, as it kind of said, I guess, no way of looking at is looking at your own free cash balance that we want to always keep it at a spot where we have flexibility. Um, you know, in a year, you always can, you could always dip in if there was an emergency, but um, it's an area that we have to kind of build that moving forward that you always have to keep a certain amount in that account um, for the fluctuations. And we'll um, probably take a couple of years to get to where you want to be. You know, right. and thinking not only with the FY20 budget, but moving forward to FY21, you know, how can, again, you make some adjustments to, to continue to build that school choice number to where it's a, it can sustain um, a change in school choice, a child or two leaving, you know. Yeah. Um, okay, so being the newbie and all that, well, too. I'm all <laughs> it's okay. Um, We're all timers at this point. I, I just want to understand what's <clears throat> what's going on. So, without making that change, are you saying we're asking the town for close to seven percent higher, right. more than what we asked right. for this current year? Right. And that's based on step. In, the bulk bulk of it is salaries because really that is the bulk of your budget. I mean get probably close to 70 percent of your budget is in salaries mm -hmm. so you've got contracts that have steps in them that people are entitled to for experience we have tucked a potential cost of living adjustment in there so that you're set for that um you know is there, is there a, a number that's sort of standard when school committees go to go to towns like a, a number that they're been the number that we've been that they've requested, but isn't like a level service um, increase more like a four point something? Usually? Yeah, and and yeah. technically that's really what version two is about is is having that sort of level service increase. What has caused the tailspin is to have to shift some expenditures from school choice back into the local budget. So that's what added sort of that extra two and three quarter percent or two and a half percent to the Right, and that's the, conver <coughs> the conversation we're going to have with the town this evening is, is just having the conversation that the assessment, the, the, the amount <coughs> number moving forward to the town, you know, has been offset by school choice for years. Right. And so, you know, it's getting to a point now where we, it's, you know, we've kind of maxed that out. And so moving forward that that number may increase slightly. Um, for the next few years, also depending on contract and that kind of thing, what right. those numbers look like. Um. So, <coughs> were we able to look into last year at all, where we had a big encumbrance at the end of the year that, um, in the reports that I had, that looked like we were somewhat under budget for um, the regular budget? I have, I. I have looked at it, have I, I have not dug into the details of okay. each expenditure to figure out what all of that is what about. That um, I will tell you because I built this, there's no fact in this. This is pretty clean. You know, okay. Well, I guess what I'm trying to get at is it looks like last year we underspent our budget from mm -hmm. the town and we returned money to the town, mm -hmm. which is fine, and that went into their free cash flow. Mm -hmm. um, but. Typically, I think we would have used the free cash. We would have used the school choice. We would have moved some of that back into the town budget right. and used up the full town budget, which would not have depleted our school choice quite so much. Right, and I think that's, again, just one of those things where, you know, um, I, for all of the towns in, in the union, I'm really putting a very close eye yeah. on school choice. So I just want to be clear if I'm talking to the town about that, that that's true, that yeah, that's what I'll happened. Do you know what the number was last year off the top of your head? Oh, it's pretty big. It's like $170,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've never heard of 
Yeah, I, 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 I would. That's have what to, I wanted to try and understand. Right, yeah. and and I just didn't get a chance yesterday yeah. to go into that because I was again trying just to do some other things around it's, grants and whatever and make sure yeah. that things were. In a good and place. if that's what happened, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. It's just that it would be good for the storyline with the town mm -hmm. to say, look. And I did check with the town, and they did have a pretty good amount. It looked like back from us last mm -hmm. year. So yeah, that sort of helps with the case that you know. We wouldn't have depleted our school choice funds. Well, typically, typically in the past, if we've had some extra money at the end of the year, and we had those certain projects that we've looked at, like floor coverings right, and stuff like that, we would try to use it <coughs> to offset some of those costs like that. So to say it's 170, that, I, I've never heard of a number it in all the like years I've been, I mean, I'm, I may be wrong, but I'm just saying yeah. that this seems like a weird number because we would have talked about okay we have this money what projects we do unfortunately Chrissy wasn't a board quite yet right the and there the was a lot of transition like going there on there was a lot of transition time. and then I think um, we might have put some things on hold because of what was going on in mm -hmm. our school at that time so maybe there was a little bit more money but we also went forward with some more of these yeah. floor coverings that we used the money the year before that was left over we used it correct me if i'm wrong did we, we do that last year i wasn't sure no. that we could. i know no, we did the but year the year before, before yeah. but i think we used some of the money that was that we had left to take care of some of the floors and i think a couple other little things mm -hmm. if, you know if i remember <coughs> right. yeah well anyway i just think that it, one it's good to think about for this year if we do end up with a surplus we want to make sure that we're thinking about how to best use it because we could move monies from school choice over there to pay for certain budget items potentially we don't say that again right like if well we i mean we could we could, we could potentially could offload some stress off. on school choice right yeah. mm -hmm. so if the budget has room in it which this year again it looks like it might because you guys are new and you haven't really gotten up the ramp yet of what things cost and it's going to we might be able to move a little money and save some more of the school yeah. choice, preserve the school choice right. for at the Build end this year. Because you're building up that quicker. And that would just give us a little more cushion, which is good. Right. Yeah. And I'm also working right now kind of on financial magic in the background. Right. I'm also working on right now just trying to sort of do a, you know, what I would call a soft encumbrance because I'm not doing it in the financial software, but being mm -hmm. able to project out to the end of the year so you'll so have, have a better idea. an idea of where potentially you will stand if things are running the course here. So I haven't finished that work yet, but that's uh, something that I'll get finished certainly very soon. <coughs> I'll, so. get, I'll get that number for tonight yeah. as, as much as I yeah. can. I'm just, so time. I'm just thinking that like, uh, <clears throat> it's good to look at the cushion, but I'm I'm sort of guessing that we might have a little more cushion potentially at the end of the year because of that. So the 38 could become the 50, mm -hmm. um, which is good. Yeah. Right. And again, uh, that's a that's a conservative estimate. There may be some costs that don't come in quite as high as I've anticipated them to be. Right. But I want I would rather err on the side of caution than the other way. So, so what uh, has there been much discussion about the? Change to the position here at Whaley? Has, what is the. No, you know, we it, don't want to necessarily not, do that, but I'm just. We haven't had any in house conversations. So this is so sort of the first is, airing the of first the idea. Correct, initially. outside of administration. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that impacts the person's um, benefits at all? If they're a half time? Is that changing? Mm -hmm. You might want to look at that. Yeah, it would. Okay. Um, that would just be through the town, not through us. Yeah. Right. Not necessarily the school, right. it would be through the town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking more from their perspective. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So that's the biggest change. The other thing is the IA, trying to decide whether or not we want to include that. Right? Mm -hmm. I, always have a, I always have a question about um, school choice sending mm -hmm. um, we have nine do we have an idea I, I think it's been done in the past but since what was going on last year the year before maybe we can find out who the nine who the nine are possibly you know maybe we can get some of the nine <coughs> back to us it's on page six if yeah. you're looking. I mean and I would sometimes love to sometimes it's I, a situation there's one that I know of right now where 
a family was living in one of the other towns, and then they moved to Whaley, but they wanted to keep their kids yeah. in the school that they've been in all along. So, mm -hmm. you think really they would come here next year? Not. You think they would come here next year if they? No, in this particular family, the two kids are are older. Okay. So you'd be pulling them from yeah. where they are in French. fourth and sixth grade. We also have an IA in every class that other schools in the district don't, from what I understand, right? No, I think all the schools in the district have. No, Deerfield doesn't. Um, Sunderland does. Um, Conway does. Conway does. So Some of them share. They do share depending on, depending on need. Um, but it is, I mean, it's a good thing to. It's great. It's a good thing to it's be selling. Thing, yeah. yeah. And I understand where you're going with Bob. And I did that as, you know, at Frontier, you know, looking at the changes, all the decisions made when people are going to seventh grade, we track down and try to figure out every single one. And, you know, there's. Well, you know, you since we know what the two are, then we come down to seven. I mean, Those because what was happening the last couple of years, possibly, maybe we can get a. a the in district one is the in district one, and it yeah. is, could be a special ed placement. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so that now you're down, you're down to six, and then, so you can get it all the way down to maybe yeah. one or two, and then, you know, I don't know if it's a part of. We could do some advertising. Well, we're in the process now of figuring out how many slots we have, and we figured that out. Um, okay. But in terms of where to advertise, um, I mean, you know, in the past they've taken out a small ad in the Greenfield Recorder, but I'm not sure that right. that that's we actually technically have to do that under the law. Same. You have to, the only thing you have to advertise the paper. Right, but in terms of having that be the thing that causes people to say, oh, I think I'll go check them out. I mean, you know. Do we have it on our website, how many openings in different grades we have right now? Just to... No, we can do that. Right. I mean, that's that's probably right. There's that's a couple probably. of classes that have small numbers. Yeah. Quite small. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure when we start advertising for it. That would mean When we start now. taking yeah, applications. Right now, because right now, right now yeah. people are starting yeah. to begin their planning for next You're year. You're going so. to, like, the play groups in the other towns. I don't know if pediatricians' offices would let us post you know, things. When do we start having numbers like on pre preschool? You know, since that's it's so it's almost right like now, it's old I mean, entity. Well, you're saying preschool registration, kindergarten registrations on preschool I'm right now. Uh, I'm just thinking about preschool because their own fund funds part of that program there, and we never want to dip into any of their funds. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, but if they have higher amounts. And we need to get something like you were talking about earlier in the day. Mm -hmm. Possibly we can we can get into it for five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars out of that fund to help pay for something if we need something. That's all. It has to stay towards early ed, right? That money, I think. I don't. Well, early childhood revolving is the tuitions for the typicals that come into the program. So obviously. That's to offset yeah. the expenses that are incurred in educating them. So yeah. So for the look for the twenty budget, <clears throat> it looks like we're budgeting forty six thousand for the early childhood. Is, is that right on the last page here? That's what's being used as offsets in the early childhood revolving fund. Yeah. So. And this Which the, version are you on? One or two? It would be the same in both versions. Okay. So, so that offset, yes. Yeah, so out of early childhood revolving, and um, um, I'm just trying to verify the balance in there so you'd know that up top, but right now, um, and that's pretty much the same as it is at the current the fiscal year. on 12? On page 12, right at the bottom under that early childhood column. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see Thank the total. Yep. And it offsets a couple of salaries within the, within the budget. Okay. But I have this year that we're at 88000 <laughs> That could very well be, but that's probably being used to purchase materials and supplies. That. That's not being funneled through the general fund. Right. Where I show it is when the general fund and some other funding source intersects. So there's probably more in early childhood than that, but it's probably being used for materials and supplies and other things that are not being cost shared, as it were, with the general fund. It's in here as one salary for nineteen two seventy. The other one is for twenty seven thousand yeah. for, for the money that yeah. that we're using in that. So I just want to make sure that I get um, the correct 
balance. So you're saying they could very well spend 88,000, it's just that it's not reflected. Here. Right, or they might carry a little over into next year as some startup funds until kids come into the program and you start getting tuition revenue, so. And that 88, though, is not buried in the, I guess what I'm trying no. to say, is there anything we can pull out of the general to move to the early childhood? It would have to be early childhood related. related. Yeah, that's all. And I would have to check with um, the early childhood coordinator to see what her spending plan is mm -hmm. for that tuition. Can you get me this? Can you yeah. Okay. yeah, and I have a hard copy of that and I don't have it with me. I apologize. Do you want me to print that out? Hmm. So it looks like they bring in 100 and 38,000 a year, which is a good amount of money. A lot more than they spend. I, I mean, for the, for when we used to go from half, we were just half a day program, then we tried it for a full year, and it, mm -hmm. we, I don't think we gave it enough a chance, mm -hmm. and then and then when we brought it back, I think it's been a big success, and, I, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So here's a question. If we get a smaller budget approved, but at the end of the year, we have more money left over. Could we reinstate some of the things that we're thinking that we don't, we don't need right now? You know what I'm saying? Like, if it turns out that we have a cushion, a bigger cushion than we are trying to keep. Is yeah. that one way to think about this? I mean, we could relieve the pressure on school choice and make more school choice funds available to you. Let's put it that way. Right. Yeah. And then we could use those school choice funds to... But again, you want to be mindful higher that you're on a slippery slope right, with right, school right. choice. Right. And so continuing to dip into that well mm -hmm. is a very slippery slope to be on. For, yeah, for years and years and years, every time we go to these meetings and the finance people, oh, you got X amount of you know, school choice. Like, yeah, we have X amount of school choice for... If something happens, we can we can dip into it instead of coming to you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, and their mentality sometimes is they'd rather see it spent than worry about something down the road. You know, if something happens. But I mean, for years we always had that little bit of cushion to help us for for all the time. I mean, it, what were you talking about? If there's money left over from the town money or from school choice? Um, both. Like yeah, so if from the general budget, sort of don't do. spend the full budget for this current year. Mm -hmm. Is there yeah, right. a way to capture that and then use it right. next year? Yeah. Which again is not yeah. money that we'll get every year. So that's yeah. the danger. It would require reclassifying some mm -hmm. expenses to the local right. budget mm -hmm. that had been posted to school choice. I, I can't remember all the years I've been on the board that we had a big surplus, other than a few thousand dollars that we gave back. If it's 170 last year. And it could have been 170 last year. There was a lot of there was a lot of things going on there that we didn't want to interrupt a lot of things last summer. So maybe we did give it back, but typically I, think, I can remember it's only been a few thousand. That's a that was an, an error on the central office's part to do that because we should have left enough in there for this exact reason that we have right now. Yeah, I mean, again, we don't really know what happened. Okay. Yeah, I, we'll I get the, we'll get the, the data, get the exact it, numbers yeah. before we start to. to, to yeah. I don't want to guess on camera and have to set the right. It is part of the story right, right, it is. of why we're where right. we are yeah. right, right now. Um, the other thing that I'm just looking at is like the reality is if we just kept everything the same and we go with the increases, it's like a nine to ten increase to the budget. So we're always in a position of having to cut the, cut things out of the budget just to meet the salaries. Which That's is the real challenge here. Yeah. Well, and the 9% on the salaries is because we have moved some from school choice into the local. That's why oh, that number okay. is as large so as it part is. Of that. Right. Yes. Okay. So even with the reduction in the guidance school psychologist person, part of the reason why that is up as much as it is, is because we have taken some money, taken some salaries, and put it back. So that's into not year over budget. year increase. That's adding positions to back that. into the local and again depending on where you land at this time next year mm -hmm. you may be looking at potentially putting some more back into the local budget yet again depending on uh, what happens with school choice numbers what happens with uh, in goings and outcomes and what happens at that December adjustment moment you know. mm -hmm. and what would happen if we went to the town with them version one. They're not going to like it. 
That's for sure. Um, Not at all. No. <laughs> Not at all. I would guess in a town the size of Waitley, they would tell you to go back and figure something out. Mm -hmm. Having the biggest budget in town doesn't mean that we keep on making it bigger and bigger. We, you know, we have to. Right. As long as it's in each percentage point in the biggest budget yeah. in town is also mm -hmm. that, a, that's a bigger impact. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well. I'll make a motion to accept version number two with the lower amount of uh, 2.68. So you want it without the. Without the. But IA. should we the go to them with the the 3.9? You know, talk to them and see what they say. Well, the different the difference is if if we need the additional IA. So, if we get the additional IA and we get four more school choice kids, if we do, I mean it's all an if. It will it will probably take care of the of the IA for that position if if we need that person. So if you go with the higher one and we don't need it. We're going to get to a point where we're going to have maybe bigger surplus mm -hmm. when June comes around, possibly. Well, we transition some more of those school choice things into that budget. I mean, yeah, I just I'd don't like know to if we should go the to bigger them number with, with the very lowest, right. and then of course they're going to want that, but we should ask for more and see what they say and talk through the situation. I mean, I think in order to get more school <coughs> choice, we need to continue to make Wheatley as high quality school as we can. Right. <coughs> so it's kind of a circle, you know, chicken and egg. Like you don't want to cut so much that people Yeah, but we're not cutting right. but we're not cutting anything that's going to deter kids that come here for school choice for what we're making what we're what we're making cuts for. You're not in this cutting budget. the arts, right. say yeah, for example, not, right. which would be a whole other animal. But we're not going to get more if we don't ask for more. If we don't start with that. We can always. But if you down. if you remember over the years, I mean, you've been on the board a couple of years, so we've always had under a two two and a half budget. So the levy cap is a two and a half. We've been under two and a half, which has been great. That's what they like. We don't get too much flack. The only time we ever get flack is when we have too much school choice money. Mm -hmm. We don't have too much school choice money. So if we come around two and a half. You know, six two point six eight sounds pretty good at two point five, right. but three point nine is almost a one and a half more percentage points. Right. But, but they know but we that need we that because the school choice is going away. I mean, I guess that's this is the time to ask for that when yeah. we don't have that school choice money there, and they can say no, yeah. and we can have a conversation about it. But if we don't ask for it now, so are you talking? Not about, offer it. Are you talking about presenting? to them the one that includes the IA but still still cuts that up. Version two. Yeah. I mean I guess I don't really like the the IA being broken out because I also am kinda of confused about like the SPED part of that. Like don't we get reimbursed for the SPED part sometimes? No. Well, only if it only if it's, yeah. only if it's, it's a it's, certain level. Yeah, circuit breaker is extraordinary. Right. Yeah. So You're cost. talking so something over something that starts at twenty five or thirty thousand dollars. You don't get any of the percentage right. until it goes over thirty thousand and right. these these kids aren't in that type of group, correct me if I'm it's wrong. Right. It's forty five thousand. Okay. So well, yeah. it's forty five I mean Yeah. And Circuit Breaker is subject that's a state funding source, so Circuit Breaker is subject to the winds of the, right. of the so legislature. I mean, technically, yeah. it's it's supposed to be capped at, it's supposed to be a 75% reimbursement. I think I've, in my career, seen it maybe More twice than. funded at that and, level. And mostly, when you're thinking of Circuit Breaker, you're thinking about placement students, yeah. not students mm -hmm. who have in-house. Right, right. And those yeah. are kids with very significant needs. Yeah, those are. And the difference in money is, has nothing to do with, you know, the circuit breaker money or anything like that it's basically the difference is is, is the one ia that we're, we might need we might not need we may be able to have enough of staff well, to how take. do we determine but it could also be adding back part of the psychologist counselor potentially like mm -hmm. i guess i just don't want to necessarily tie it to a particular position mm -hmm. if we don't have to mm -hmm. because we don't really know yet where we're going to end up right so why not ask to sit, try and keep things as consistent as we can, which would be to me the 
which would give us a little more money to either, you know, hire the FTE back for 0.75 instead of one, or hire an Good morning, IA. everyone. Choice. Whatever ends up the being more. The time in the office is 857. That's lunch fine. today will be chicken quesadillas or tomato soup. Also, because of the wind and the cold, the temperature is only supposed to be around 11 with the wind chill factor, so we'll have indoor recess. Oh, goody. Today, to do the pledge, we have Jacob and Duncan. So my other point about the SPED IA is that I think that when we started the preschool, we lost some of our SPED IA because that teacher was a SPED IA who is now the preschool teacher, right? Am I right? Do you remember, Bob? <coughs> Originally, that was her role here before no, there was a she preschool. she was a special teacher. Or teacher, right, sorry. So we lost some special ed capacity. So this would be backfilling for some of that now that she's not necessarily focused on that as much. But I'm, I'm happy trying for the 3.9 because I think really fundamentally we're at this cliff and we, need the, we are gonna need to push more to this town. But going forward, if we do that now, we shouldn't need to keep doing it every year. This should be the sort of one year to get us at a slightly higher level. We can rebuild school choice, hopefully, and then we can stay at the 2% increase for the town. It seems like. Is that? I, I mean, otherwise, next year we're going to be having the same conversation potentially. I'm good, right? <laughs> I, 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 and I'm, I'm even. I mean, so. school I, choice. I, I feel like now is a good time to yeah, do it, especially if we gave them back money last year. This well, is the year to do it. Well, and school choice is so volatile. I mean, that's that's, right, that's I think the hard part. My deep concern for you is that school choice is so volatile that even at thirty-eight thousand rolling forward, that's not a lot of money. No. That's a, uh, you know, three students and a special ed increment, and you, you know. I mean, most important is that we have a lot of student or babies in town that we want to come here, so we want to keep the school something a place right. they want to come to, right. and not go somewhere else potentially. Yeah, which is why we which did would be not another, right? Which is why we did not look at other mm -hmm. programs that would be attractive to students. You know, you've got right. a strong arts uh, component here. We didn't want mm -hmm. to touch that. I mean, when you're talking these kinds of dollars, you're not talking nickel and diming your discretionary accounts. You are talking personnel. It, it, it's just no way around it. It's it's a very painful process uh, to be right. through. Uh, I've been through it a lot, um, so. And we are cutting some things. things it looks you know, like so. It, it, it's 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 tough. It's tough to look at a budget where in the past. And I'm not saying I don't like the way you show things here, but in the past they never showed this other column over here. They just showed the top one at a percentage and the bottom one at a percentage. Some of these numbers, we never had these percentages oh, on the right side there. Here. We never had that before. And sometimes you look at, wow, 50% more, 50% less. Yeah, I mean, right. it's not, 50% could yeah, be like uh, five going, bucks. From, going from 1,000 to 500, yeah, or um, the other way around, yeah. You know, I don't, to give us, Two numbers on the bottom doesn't mean that that tells me that they've looked at both numbers pretty hard between the three of them, being Judy, Chrissy, and Darius. I mean, I don't want I, I personally don't want to go to the town and, and ask for almost four percent. I'd rather ask the town for two point seven percent. But that's but we're just, not gonna get anything more if we don't ask for it. And they know this has been coming. We've been telling them every year, right? But the but the What's correct me if I'm wrong, the dip, the different only thing different is that IA. And the IA is a new IA that we're talking about. We're not talking about funding an IA that's in the house right now. We're talking about bringing another IA that we might need or well, how do we or, determine if we need it. Or or we take care of the person with what we have in the house already. 
they wouldn't op they wouldn't make a, a suggestion either way whether you know whether they could use them or they couldn't use the person that they could hire. But that's the only thing difference is the IA difference of twenty one thousand dollars between three point nine and two point six eight is that one IA. We're not eliminating. We could be bringing another one in. Could. I'm looking for guidance from these two over here. So right, it's. Because it's up in the air and there's questions about what certifications this person would need to have, it may not be someone I can pull from, from in house. So it, they might have to hire someone. If they have to hire somebody, then we would hope for, like someone said, we had 170,000. You know, there again, if there was 170,000, I didn't know, I, I didn't remember any 170,000 that we gave back to the town last year, but if we did, then. It's our fault that we didn't try to spend some of that money, mm -hmm. possibly on on things that we really need. Or needed. save it, <laughs> not even spend it. Well, we couldn't save it because we can't put it in. For, we have to give it back to the town anyway. So well, you could have put it. You could have spent less. Used it for you could have spent less. That were used in school choice. Right, you could right. spend less school right. choice, and that's why I don't understand yeah. what the logic was on that because yeah. that is what. <clears throat> well, that and the loss yeah. of school choice this year. So remember, right? If you're looking at the numbers, like you would have thought you were a lot healthier until we lost a few students this year, and yeah. so. Yeah, the December so, adjustment took my breath away. And it's important <laughs> to remember that even within those numbers, we're already adjusted for school choice for next year as well. Right. So, um, so if, if we don't have to hire a new person, a new IA, does that put the counseling position back together? Right. Then I kind of go back to the first budget. Well, basically, I mean, the town's going to vote a bottom line. It's your job. To determine how that money right. gets spent <coughs> so if the IA stays in the budget mm -hmm. you wind up not needing it obviously you've got some wiggle room that that's your responsibility as a school committee to figure out what you're going to do with this money that mm -hmm. is not going to be expended for this purpose but you think it needs to be spent somewhere else mm -hmm. that's a de decision you make we do a budget transfer it's done right. Um, so, you know, right. In some cases, it doesn't really like we could just say we want to ask for a three percent increase, and then we can allocate it. Like we need to be careful where we're putting it, but well, it doesn't have to be quite so specific. Well, this is what they always look for. We right. usually we usually have given this in the past in January. Now it's the end of February already, and they still don't have it until t today or tonight mm -hmm. when we present it to them and stuff. So they haven't even looked at it. I mean, we've looked at it a little bit, yeah, but not until we vote on whatever we do here that they're going to see tonight for the very first time. Well, we've been previewing with them that this is coming. Yeah, we've been previewing, but there again, they haven't seen any number. Right. You know, like I said, they've always seen a budget from us in January. And basically, almost two months later, that we're coming out. No fault to anybody. Just right. the way just things are. Trying to we're trying to investigate what was well, going on. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. You know, if we well, show up at two six two six eight tonight, wow, you guys did a good job. You're trying to keep it at two point five. And I and I don't disagree with you having extra money to take out, start paying for positions out of school choice, but. We're not. It's not like we're deleting an IA. No, I, I'm that. given. I, yeah, I agree yeah, with you. Yeah. We don't need the IA. But then I'm going back to: Do we need to cut a position, or do we go to them with like, this is what our full increase would be this year, and how do we shave that without having to make such? But your full a, a increase is close to seven percent, which well, I'm guessing five point, never. This five point five six. Well, if you're, if you, yeah, well, it's still, I yeah. suppose it's five and a half percent. That's three percent over what, right? You know, and I don't know the but politics. So I'm, I'm trying way, to get like between two do. and a half and five and a yeah. half. Yeah. Like, what is a reasonable number to ask for? That <coughs> so, do you want to take them? Because in the past, budget, do you want to take them budget one at five point six, five point five six? have a discussion regarding what money was returned last year. And that's significant because we would be asking this at all if we didn't return that money. Right. And so in having that discussion with them, um, that's, I think that's a good conversation to have. I know it's a little late in the game 
to be having that conversation. It, but I mean, we're late no at matter least what. You're but figuring doing, it out now. I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather do it right. I'd rather do it right like late than do it and, and just be late and say, it. "Well, right. we're late," and, and that's kind of the story right, of hell. Right. There's we still have time to. Um, to tweak this. We had time to tweak this right up to town meeting floor. You know what I mean? I mean let's yeah. be honest. It, I know that's not how we, we don't it's not the best do practice, but um, right. you know, we got to do what's best for the kids and we got to do what's best for the towns you know, right. financially. So, right. um, I mean, I think we need to give Waitley a good budget to keep trying to be the best school it can be and to continue to attract as many students mm -hmm. as it can, whether they're residents or school choice. Mm -hmm. And by cutting things, we're not going to do that. Like that's just not going to help that situation, in my opinion. On the flip side, and this is me speaking from coming from other lands, to have a full-time guidance psych person in a school this size it's is unheard of yeah. anywhere else but here. Right. And that's why, when I took a look at this, I said, "Is this a place?" Right. That so we maybe could there's cut? a happy medium between that. Like maybe she's not full-time. Maybe she's yeah. three quarters, which is a little less than I don't know. Right. Um, I just I think also a cut at the school is going to be traumatic. Like the people don't like to have to have that happen. And I but it's, but it's but not like we're but it's not like we're cutting a teacher that's no, traumatic. We're just we're cutting no, a person. That's a person. Yeah, I mean, school. I, that's it's a be small felt. school. There's a fabric here that we want to try and preserve. Um, I I'm not a fan of being the first principal that has to cut something. Like <laughs> right. Haven't been cut a long time. Yeah. We're also talking about a budget. I get that. I mean, it's. But I'm prepared to be told I have to. You go live with somebody that's like, a select person at times. I know. So you I'm to happy to ask for this. Like I don't know. I guess I don't know why we can't ask. I, yeah. Maybe I'm mm -hmm. naive in some town politics. I, I mean, if we ask, <laughs> if we ask for the three point six eight and buy town meeting floor, hey, all of a sudden it went down to two point two right. point something. That's great. I mean, I'm not sure if we'll know by town meeting if we do need the IA or not and at right. that time we can take it out of the budget and we look like we look we look like like what, what's the word good citizens good budget citizens yeah. I mean we're just sharing what the reality is right at this right. moment in May we'll have a lot better idea of where the year end is going to be what the needs will be next year we could I'd rather ask for the most now and then go this way rather than have to go back and say we need more. We actually owe, oh, guess what, we need more. Well, there's a couple of things that I'm concerned. First of all, I don't, I don't want to cut anything. But if we're talking about putting off this decision about what's, what's going to be cut, we have contractual issues mm -hmm. to, to think about. And mm -hmm. just um, common courtesy to mm -hmm. let someone know <coughs> if their job is being changed. And right. we can't right. wait till June to see what was left mm -hmm. in the budget to do that. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't know we would know that with the finance committee tonight. So <laughs> I mean, sort of well, I mean, you're. I mean, clearly, if you go with the the larger number to finance committee to have the discussion, you can't go with a smaller number to have a discussion. Exactly. You know, I mean, even right. if, and if they're watching this, it kind of defeats purpose to it. But then, you know, it's it is what it is. It's the same day kind of deal. So um, <laughs> it does put us in have a good conversation because you know, part of I think a part of our goal has been to work tighter with the town mm -hmm. instead of this school town two entities Let them help two us budgets. Solve these problems. Mm -hmm. That these small and I'm getting the same kind of feeling in all the towns is that this, this these small schools with very tight budgets have to work hand in hand with the mm -hmm. committees of the town. And have greater communication. Right. You know what I mean. And so, going there and having a conversation about it, um, you know, at least it'll. F the way I'm reading people here, it at least will feel people have all their information if they have to make a decision that involves reductions in the budget, and reduction of, of staffing and that kind of stuff. Because that's that's what I'm that's what right. I'm seeing here is that it's like okay, I understand black and white, but there's a small unknown about mm -hmm. how. You know the finance committee feels about this and what happened last year with the return of money that wouldn't have put this in the, this position and had we handled that differently so let's have that conversation before we go ahead and we change mm -hmm. any kind of program at the school that's what i'm seeing it does again it's slowing this process that we're a month behind in but what are we what are we rushing but, for yeah you know what i mean yeah. we're rushing for with you. a budget that's done so we can step you know step away from the table or we, we we're better off getting it right because we're really 
the corrections we're making are for long term. Right. You know, different communities are in different situations with the budgets where, you know, the corrections are, are greater than this. And, you know, this is really about, the reductions here is about building a sustainable budget for long periods, and the town has to be a part of that decision. Mm -hmm. And so, so I kind of, I get what you're saying there. Yeah. Um, well, but we also have to be prepared to have it. Right, I'm prepared Tuesday. to At the last meeting, um, Joyce indicated Joyce? that this wouldn't be a shock to anyone that right. we've hit this. She said they won't like it, but yeah, uh, they've, they've they this point know it's going to come for more. Yeah. Not to change the subject, but, <clears throat> and I think I could say this, but the sprinkler bids came in. Yes, I saw okay? that. And they're a little high. A little high, and and I could probably say this, but the town wants us to help, town wants us to help pick up the difference. Right. So we don't know exactly how much that is. It might be only a few thousand, but there again, they're asking it's us for money yeah. to help pay for the sprinkler system that we're trying to keep a budget low enough, but now they're asking us for money to help pay for the sprinkler system. Right. Well, well, that's that's I, I, I understand Again, that. I think we need a conversation. Like, is it because they just think we have extra money and they, they don't know the situation we're in? Or right. is it because well, they don't have the money? That's part of the conversation tonight. That's that, what I want to know. You know, the bid's getting higher, and now you guys want us to pay for the difference, but we're trying to keep the budget yeah. as low as we can. But, but I would you, ask, too, if I were them, and yeah. say, don't you have, do you have that money? I mean, we have, well, it's up to us to show to, them we don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm willing to make a deal. Um, <laughs> I will take you care of yourself. I'll take care of number one. Sprinkler if they'll go with version one. <laughs> right, exactly. Oh, that's a weird right. <laughs> Right, but so I just wanted. What do we want to do? Here? Yeah, cause the, because because the sprinkle would have to come from school choice. I don't think you have it because of long-term yeah. sub pay it's, and all it's, that um, kind of It's business. not a huge number. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not sure. But it's still a number. Yeah. It's still a number yeah. that they're asking for. No, I agree with you. Like, and we're trying to come up with the lowest budget possible. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, let's talk about that tonight too. Let's see. Yep. This I is mean, an example of why we can't keep taking these kinds of yeah, things. Right. Yeah. Especially if they, I mean, I'm not saying that we should use all the free cash in the world to offset anything, but if it's if it's less than five thousand dollars and we have, we'll say a, we'll say it's probably over a hundred, but if we have a hundred thousand dollars in free cash, why can't they just kick in the rest of the rest of it to pay for it? Mm -hmm. It tend taking out of our budget that's strapped. Right. Almost a thing. They're going to say, "Well, you had one hundred seventy thousand last year." Yeah, there might be a there might be a good like reason for that. I just wanna, let's make sure we. I'm not sure that yeah, number is correct. Yeah, I, I, I started to look at it yesterday, but I haven't had a chance to like deep. So, will we know? No, but I, I think I don't do mine at as the rest of my day. Part of the story. So, where do we get that? information who, who knows? um i will have to go into the accounting software dig into the detail a little more and see what i can see <laughs> um, yes, i'll give brian a call and see if he knows offhand too yeah and so. then we'll have to back into it that's the problem here is that i'm backing into what right. i don't know yeah but they should know how much yeah. on there and they should right they right so. okay well i would like to want me to make the motion you got to retry your last motion just so everybody's yeah. paying. Well, if this version, if there's a score, I'm going to make a vote motion on version two at the higher number at 3.90. Okay, and let me just Is give you okay? a number because you should vote a number number. Number number would be on the last page? Yeah, except for, I, yeah. So I'd like to take off that bottom line from any version we bring forward. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yep, that's not a problem. I can do that. Yeah. So you'll be $1,746,837. And, and do we need to keep the notes about how we're getting to that money in terms of your FTE or? I thought this is a number. No, no, that's just all to give us more flexibility. This is your local budget. On that oh. top so line here. Okay. Yeah. So we so want the 1,000, 1,746,837. Yeah. That's the question. Yeah. It's already public. So you got that, Larry? Administrative. 1,000. No, 1 million. 1 million. 1 million. 746,837. That's yes. correct. Yep. Thank you. I'm just, just hoping not to get into that. But. Yeah, I'd rather go with that number. Is that it? The, and we can the go 3.9%. Yeah. Yeah. So the 1,746,837. Yeah. Yeah. That does the that difference in an IA and the reduction of the other staff is not does not equal. Right. So right. So the IA are, is still in the budget. Right. You're creating a, the decision is being made that way. Would the would the extra IA with, with the reduction? And with the reduction, if you truly wanted to go into tonight without that decision made, in having a discussion, you're making a decision by putting that budget forward. 
So she, the difference she give is, you so many options. We shouldn't, we shouldn't have an order. I know. The difference is it's just the IA, right? It's do we have to specify? AI and a half of the. It doesn't have guidance. to specify, but the the difference in the money, it, you, it's not a dollar. It's not either one or the other, because one is is cost more than the other. Yeah, the reduction cost, is more money than right. the an additional IA. So but it could be so moving the position back to seventy. You, you, we could adjust it that Instead way, but there is IA. correct, correct. That right. could that could happen that way too. But it's the other way to look at it. But those right, we don't. School committee really shouldn't get into that job. No, you know what I mean. I'd rather we can not make recommendations. And then, and then I'd like to give you the money and then to, you decide where. Right. right. Well, right. the three of them. Right. Decision on that that right. particular position. Well, whether it's based on how much money you right. Based on how much how you can use. Our course. job is based on how much money we have is to provide the best programming within the walls. So, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. It's if you start to micromanage, if we spend a little bit here, spend a little bit there, it, it gets. We listen. Yes, we li we certainly listen in, in that kind of stuff. But I just want to—you don't want to get too caught up in those. Weeds. You may you may want to, but you probably shouldn't. Yeah. Well, so what are you suggesting then that we vote on the three point nine thing, <clears throat> or that's what's the motion on? That it's that's the no, motion if you're going to—I think if you're going to go have a discussion with with the finance committee tonight, you bring in five point five six, and that's with no cuts and that's with that's, that's how much that's, 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 that's our that's We're our prepared to. Part of this, we have but like, this it, is what it would be if we don't have that's version program. one without the spit IA in there, correct? Correct, and then that and I, I don't, a moment. I don't believe that's gonna fly, no. but it's gonna have the conversation you want, okay. right? There, we <laughs> and so, it, it, and I, you know, and I may just be being fair about it, that's you know, just having right, and we don't necessarily want to end up there, but we want to show them the reality of where we are. Maybe they'll just Maybe. say yes. Um, so you want the 5.56 number? Is that what you're looking at? Yeah. I'm not going to vote on the 5.56. I'll vote on the 3.9 with the reduction and, and keeping the SPED IA in there just in case we need that SPED IA for that child. I can't, I can't bring a 5.56 to them, even if it's conversation. You know, maybe 50% of them will like it, but the other 50% is going to hate it. Mm -hmm. Worse than the 50% that may. Well, I guess well, that's my point is I'm, I'd like to vote for the 3.9, knowing that it's, we're not really sure how that money will be spent totally yet. We're not committing right. to any particular, but it could be a cut. It, it could, could be, be, it could be not have an IA and then, and depends on what they say about 50 or 75 or whatever percentage on the thing, but there again, I So we can't just present this version as a, if if we kept everything intact and added the one thing that may need to be added, this is what it would look like. Without without doing that, something has to be cut. Right. Version one. Okay. Right. And, Sorry. And, and, and and Bob is saying that the number's just too high. It's just too high. It, 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 it is very high. It is. Even like, like, when I'm like, saying it, it's might be able to sell 3.9. Yeah. But, but what's the no harm in them knowing part of, that our decision making is based on well, this is the need? Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. we have to show some good faith in showing that we've done some work yeah. to yeah. reduce right. what yeah. we can, but like this is our limit. That's why I think it's important to for them to know that. Well, I think you could well, talk, we can about talk about it. Definitely, I think you we can. We, we can, can set it up so it shows this is like this is what this is where we were and this is where we've we, gone. Can we put that on? Yep. A, we'll do that as our summary sheet. We'll we'll show where how it got to where we're at. Yeah, yeah. And because that that does feed into that conversation yeah. about <coughs> um, it really it's school choice is what hurt the budget this year. Yeah. And if we gave back anything over fifty thousand dollars, <laughs> that was. Um, yeah. That was that was I don't know what the that was being really good. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. yeah, and like I say, I've looked at numbers, but I, I I'm at a point where I just need to verify things. So okay. I mean the other and then the next question is why did we have that much extra in the town budget? Like what was it? But but really the argument is that we should have just put more of the school choice monies. We should have held a with. larger amount of school choice over and less school choice been applied to those. And I don't know. Is it easy to again to see what we spent? exactly on school choice last year for everything whether it was a snowblower or was it was a can you 
Can, or do we have anything like that that we had in the past because there are detailed reports I can pull um, it would pull a purchase order number and an amount then I would have to go in and look yeah. at the purchase order not, and see what the purchase order I don't want to do it if it's gonna, I don't want to do it if it's going to take you half a day or a day I mean I know you have a lot to, right. on your plate and stuff with everything yeah. that's going on yeah. I'm just I mean, trying to, I, I can't do that by I, tonight I, I, I'm, oh, no, I'm, not, I'm not with it. <laughs> but I know this is I, where the year ended with the school choice budget this is last what we got at the end of the year so there's a big there's over what the budget actually was is the total right right but again the person in the accounting office who handles all of this came through with an ending balance who verified it with the town and that's where that school choice number came from so that may not have had every Every little everything thing. posted okay. to it yet, and so. I got a funny feeling. I'm I'm just looking for one particular thing. It's not on this sheet, so okay. yeah. and I won't mention what it is. But I can okay. tell it. I can tell it's not on that sheet. So that's why I'm trying to. Yeah, I, I this mean, whole school, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, we need to move forward. I I, I, I personally don't think we should say anything about five point five six. And then we brought it down to 3.90. I mean, it's it's our job to accept one of these proposals. It's their job to tell us what what we suggest. If we have to make other cuts after 3.90, we know the other thing that we may have might have to do. But we would like the 3.9. This is where we feel comfortable with, whether they feel comfortable with it or not. I just want to make sure that they understand we're compromising the program. Yeah, I disagree. I, I think they should know that we've already done some work to come down to that number. And, yeah. and that it represents... Well, we've done that every year. We, we've always had a little higher number. We've always... Yeah, but we've never had a position. Cut some sort. That's significant, I think. Well, I, I think a few years ago we had an override that we cut some IAs, I'm going to say... Right. And I'm trying to remember right. two or three aides. There was an override. The override. When the year we did the override, we had I think we had to make some cuts, mm -hmm. and the override was a group package because a library needed something, a school needed something. So instead of pinpointing and voting on certain things, this was our package, and it and it passed to help pay for certain things. But I think we still lost. Uh, I think it's yeah. important for them to know. It's really significant, cutting, cutting up position here right we're cutting a, we're saying we're cutting a half a position that Judy's gave it gave her point of view mm -hmm. Darius has given his point of view on that position you know I think if, if I'm right Lynn talked about different positions as she was as superintendent was talking about different positions here that mm -hmm. with what Judy said was some of the things that Lynn was saying about different positions sometimes you know we don't have that many children for that particular that, right mm -hmm. but that, that person services. then can add other things to the school potentially in that role which we yeah. may or may not need but it doesn't hurt the school it only enhances the right. school so i think that would be my argument against against cutting it is there's certain enhancements that we would lose that we don't have and we may not need them so we may have to look really carefully at that mm -hmm. but i just I, don't want to throw a bunch of numbers in the selectmen or finance committee's thing saying, okay, uh, you, yeah, you started. Right, five, I five, agree, we don't Five point need, something, then you have 3.9. What else can you cut? You know, we're, we feel comfortable at 3.9. If they say, well, you've got to come in lower, we're gonna have to make, somebody's gonna have to make more cuts on mm -hmm. that 3.9. We know what, what we, could have, we could do. Well, I think that it's important for them to know that we've already been trying to come down they also need to that, know as that would that would be listed in there though because we would give us some they'd see the summary right. sheet right the updated and I summary can, sheet and the updated summary sheet shows the reductions yeah so we will definitely explain how we got to that number yeah because every, everybody is higher than it's been in, i don't know ever i can't remember a, a three point percent budget i, I just want them to think there's a lot of fluff there yeah right. Well, I won't if you think that. about last year's budget, if the number is if the number is right or if it's mm -hmm. petition, I mean that's that's what we should find out at least on last year's. Yeah, yeah. If we got to confirm that. But we had some extraordinary circumstances. <laughs> I, I think they have a right to know that we are offering less to the children of Whitley. 
But Judy's point is, you by looking at what's in the budget, you don't believe there's any extra capacity in, this, in the budget FY, right now. The way it's yeah, there structured. isn't because you know we've got some long-term sub stuff. We've had some saving on a salary, but you're paying a long-term sub to cover that, and a long-term sub to cover somebody else. You know, I mean, so mm -hmm. there's there's some unanticipated expenses that were not budgeted for. This uh, the, in this, this year? fiscal year, the long-term sub was not budgeted for. We had to go Find looking that. for the money, um, which uh -huh. we did. You know, in the cost savings on okay. the salary side, but again. But next year, do we need the long-term sub still? Like, is that going to be a savings? I, it won't be a savings because it's going to pop back. In, it's going to pop back into the teacher's <coughs> salary because there was some time not okay. paid. So. Well, and we still have zero budget for long-term subs for next year as well. Right, mm -hmm. right. We haven't budgeted anything for long-term subs because we don't have any anticipated need. But we um, might get one. We never know. Right. Yeah. Okay. Lots things of things happen. happen to people. Yes. Health right. concerns, you know, all sorts of stuff. Babies. <laughs> They're happier. <laughs> the happy. Let's do happy. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of the bad news bearer <laughs> this year. That's how I feel anyway. I'd like to come with some good news. Okay, so we have a motion to do the 3.9. Do we want to a second? All in favor? All right. Okay. We have a budget have a plan. All right. Good I discussion. Take that bottom <laughs> row off the um, yep. off the sheet and uh, off of all of the documentation, and we'll have copies for time. Thank you, Judy. You're welcome. That's a lot. Well, it's just um, sort of financial forensics, I guess. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> you go down a rabbit hole and you keep going. So, we, so can we close the meeting? Are we? So you're joining the agenda is this? So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Make a motion adjourn. Second. All in favor?